Russian tanks have entered Ukraine, while five broken armored vehicles were taken out of the country. The head of the Information Resistance News website, Mitro Timchuk, reported on Friday. Additionally, ten artillery pieces were deployed in the area near Nikolaevka, Timchuk said. Mitri Timchuk is a famous Ukrainian military analyst, known for his objective statements. Earlier, Ukrainian and Western media reported Russia invasions into Ukraine for over a hundred times. The visit by U.S. Vice President Joseph Biden to Kyiv is aimed at disruption of the peace process in eastern Ukraine and may lead to escalation of the conflict. Deputy Chairman of the People's Council of the Donetsk People's Republic, Denis Pushil, said on Friday, Americans want to remove the DPR and LPR from the process, but it will finally deadlock the situation. Washington openly states that it is necessary to supply lethal weaponry to Kyiv. Thus, the United States proposes a new war instead of Minsk talks. From the very beginning, it approved bloodshed in Ukraine, first at Maidan, later in Odessa, and then the southeast, Pushilin said. Russia and Saudi Arabia are against the artificial manipulation of oil prices, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on Friday. In regard to the situation on the oil market, both Russia and Saudi Arabia believe prices should be according to the market, and the crucial role here is played by supply and demand. We, along with our Saudi partners, are against the market being influenced as the result of some sort of political plan," Lavrov said during a press conference following a meeting with Saudi Foreign Minister Saud Al Faisal in Moscow. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.